Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the export of Azure SQL Database using SSMS, that is SQL Server Management Studio. So first of all, let's see which SQL database we are going to export as backpack using SSMS. So here we are in the Azure portal and we have the database Cloud Knowledge SQL DB on the screen which has the server cloud knowledge SQL DB server and this particular database if we go to the query editor has two tables let's try to see click on OK under the table section we can see two tables employee and student it has some data so this database has to be exported in the form of backpack using SQL Server Management Studio and we will create that backpack in the storage account. You can save it locally as well as in the Azure storage account. So let's open SQL Server Management Studio. This is SQL Server Management Studio. If you do not have it, you can install it and then you can connect to the database. So here we can see that we are already connected to the Cloud Knowledge SQL DB server. As I've told you that this is the server, SQL Server, and this server has this database. So we are connected to the server and it has this database Cloud Knowledge SQL DB. How we have connected, you have to click on this connect object explorer option and you have to give the server name. The server name is taken from the overview section of the SQL database. So open the overview section and take the server name from here, paste it. Then select the SQL Server authentication because we have given SQL Server authentication while creation of this database server, SQL Server, then the user ID and password and click on connect. So since it's already connected, we'll click cancel and we could see the same table, employee table and students table here. So now we know that this is the database which needs to be exported. Now we will study the steps through which we export. So the first step is you have to right click on the database in the server which you want to export. Clicking on right click, you will see these options. We have to select the task option. Under the task option, you'll see export data tier application option. So this is the option export data tier application. This wizard in the SSMS has to be used for export of the SQL database. So we'll click on export data tier application wizard, which will open up this page. Okay. In which it will show that this wizard will help you to export the schema and data from a database to the logical backpack file format. To export your database, you must specify export settings, review the export summary, check the results of operation. Okay, so we'll click on next. In the next page, we can see the export settings. This operation will create a backpack file that contains the logical contents of your database. To continue, specify the location where you want the backfill file to be created and then click next. So here we have two options. In the settings, we have two options, save to local disk or save to Microsoft Azure. So in the local disk option, if we select, we have to click on browse and it will ask us to save locally in your system, the file. Or the second option, if we select save to Microsoft Azure, here we can connect to the storage account. So let me first show you the storage account which we are going to use in this video. Let's go back to the Azure portal. Here in the third tab, we have CK ADLS storage account already present in which if we go inside this container section and could see there are a few containers where we'll be using backpack export container to land the backpack file. Now let's go back to the SSMS in the export data tier wizard and we'll connect to the storage account. So click on connect. We are already connected to the subscription of the SQL database or the SQL server to which we are connected in the SSMS. It will show you the subscription. Select the subscription where you have the storage account. Then you have to select the storage account. From the drop down, just select the storage account name. It was CKADLS. So we'll write it CKADLS. So this was the name CKADLS, select the storage account and then select blob container. Click on the drop down, backpack, export. We'll select that. It will take 
few seconds to reflect the names in the drop down so be patient and select the desired storage account and container now click on okay and here when you click on okay it will be asking you again the container name so from the drop down just reselect the container name okay make sure all the fields are filled in properly then click on next here are the settings we have to just verify the settings and click on finish now the exporting database operation is in progress you can see exporting database operation we can maximize it now the extracting of schema schema from database is in progress let's wait for some time until this extraction is finished and we could see the backpack file generated there in the storage account now we can see the operation is completed and all the different processes and extraction are showing result as success we'll close it from here from the ssms wizard and we'll go to the azure portal and click on refresh in this storage account location we could see cloud knowledge sql db dot backpack file is generated okay so this is how we create backpack or export azure sql database using sql server management studio hope you have understood this video thank you for watching do let me know in comments if you have any queries or doubts happy learning Bye.